Hey folks, how are you doing? Wanna show you real quick. Yesterday I spent hours and hours of cleaning this and it was a nightmare. But you see that space there? That's where it's going. It's actually need only 2x2 two by two, two by two feet uh, footprint, which is awesome. That's why I'm able to actually fit it on that table next to my drill press and still work and still keep even this one here. So that's gonna be pretty epic. It just means to a little more organizing with the small stuff that I always had, you know, in that area. I always had the Dremel stuff there, so I have to kind of keep it a little more clean, but it's doable, it's doable. And uh, funny thing, I gotta show you, as I was cleaning, because it was really messy, I actually found out that I have a couple more blanks from the widget ashes, so I finished them today, finished bunch of widget ashes, they go to the blade show. Actually, I'm, I thought I'm gonna have only like five, six that I was really saving. I ended up having 12 for the blade, so that's gonna be awesome. Was finishing, doing the finishing touches on the blades. <coughs> the drain holes, like I said. <coughs> it's actually very easy even. I actually don't like to play around with it when I do the uh, sheets the first time. I always just go back and just heat up the, the very end of it. You know, I heat up this portion here and I just slide, obviously without the knife in it, I slide a small little screwdriver you know right between the two layers of kydex and it creates like this and then with the gloves with the fingers I just press on it while the screwdriver is in there and it creates this really cool little you know drain hole so that's that's ready now all these are pretty much I think perfect I just double check the blades make sure that none of them are scratched up from kydex or something uh, I might actually play with some of them with the new grinder, see what the new finishes I can do, I don't know, we'll see. But that's fun. I already started setting up some scales for the EDC blades when they come back. So definitely want to do this one, that uh, Texture Tech Bramble. Did this one, this is gonna be pretty cool. You see some custom made stuff. It's uh, actually that, the cutoffs from the, from the nice ones that I did. So you have the Sunspot Kirinite with the regular lighting strike carbon fiber. Then you have that emerald green Kirinite with the silver lighting strike. And then you have the orange G10 with the, this actually the F117. I had the cutoffs from way before. So you're gonna have three different types of uh, carbon fiber with three different types of liners on the toxic green liner as a scale. That would be, I think that's gonna be pretty, pretty cool, pretty funny. Got another piece of this I want to do. I really like that combination. So that's gonna get done on one of them. And uh, some carbon fiber, some uh, this. I'm just thinking ahead, you know, like all different things that I want to do uh, at first with the ADC blanks and that's it. Tomorrow probably I'll rehandle this to do a regular handle on it. That's that S125VN that has the, the Timascus handles. I'm gonna actually in the future I'm gonna redo the Timascus handles for like probably a friction folder and uh, this will get regular handles to be a regular knife with the fancy steel so we'll see guys hope you had the great weekend I hope I to see as many as possible of you at the show and I'm really counting hours and hours to the to the I think Wednesday I'm supposed to get the grinder that's gonna be big for me I'm really excited really so let me know what you think and uh, please don't ask me about selling these now I'm taking everything to the blade show so you know hope that uh, hope that you get it get there you know I really wish that to see, to meet as many as possible there it's always a good time to meet you guys there and talk to you so guys, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.